he had so much to say, and there was a lot more I wanted to ask him. But we were under this five-minute time constraint. Now, the congressman has been in the district this week. He's going to be here next week. He told me when he reached out, he was ready to share his story. Are you going to run again? I don't know yet. That's fine. Congressman George Santos's future is uncertain. You heard it right from the scandal-stricken freshman who agreed to an exclusive sit-down interview with Fox 5 on Thursday. We were given exactly five minutes. Being that we only have five minutes, I want to make sure you can't ramble. If you do, I will politely cut you, you off. You can cut me off. In 300 seconds, we learned more about Santos's education. Did you go to high school? Of course I went to high school, but I got a GD. And went over his plans for the district. Whether you supported me, whether you opposed me, whether you still support me, whether you now don't support me, there's going to be a place for everybody in this congressional office. But some constituents calling for his expulsion, who say they haven't been able to meet with their representative, feel otherwise. Santos says signatures on their petition they gave him were invalid and fraudulent. Those are some of the words voters used to describe his lies. What about the missing money? I'm sorry, which missing money? The $365,000. Is that a new thing? I've, I've never heard that figure came before. out earlier this week. Or the $705,000. <laughs> I mean, pick amazing. your figure. What I mean, do you have to say to people? I, I don't know about any missing money. That's, that, or the $705,000. Well, $705,000 were personal loans made from me to the campaign. I've operated honestly and with no... Will you show people? Sure. I mean, I've I've made it very clear if the ethics committee comes looking. What about anybody, me? I'd love to see. Sure. Maybe we can do that on an off the record setting. And I would I have no problem opening the books to you. To date, reports claim three hundred sixty five thousand dollars of campaign spending is unaccounted for in financial filings. As for the seven hundred and five thousand dollars, it was initially marked as personal loans. However, last month, the campaign amended the filings. And on Thursday, Santos told us once more it was his money. My honest opinion is to think that there is some kind of technical issue there or clerical error. Members of both parties have called for Santos's resignation. Your last conversation with Speaker McCarthy, how was it? The last conversation I had with him was when I went in there and I said, I will recuse myself and reserve my seats in committees until, you know, uh, the ethics does, committee does its job, and then I'll just resume my position back in committees and we can go from there. And as multiple agencies look into allegations of campaign irregularities and fraud, including GoFundMe scams, Santos stands by the statement that no one has reached out to him. I have not been reached out by any regulatory agency. And now I just got a text message from Santos's personal attorney who tells me while he hasn't heard from law enforcement, he did reach out to prosecutors to introduce his cell, himself and establish his representation of Congressman Santos as his personal attorney. And now constituents we've spoken with say it's not about whether he had a GED or if he went to high school, but it's more about the theft charges and alleged campaign finance fraud. Santos says he'll tell us more next time. That is if there is an Next time. That's the latest here in Douglas and Queens. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News. Teresa, let's send it back inside to you. Great work by you, Jody. Thank you. And to watch Jody's full interview with George Santos, you can log on to our website, fox5ny.com.